Hi guys, I think this is gonna be my last video today, but um, I've been thinking about this video for quite a while. And it's one, I'm gonna lead into a couple of exciting announcements, um, especially for those of you who've been around a while because this is something you've asked me for. Um, but as many of you know, we have three nutrition courses. The first one is called the Paleo Total Transformation or Nutrition 101, your foundation in ancestral nutrition. It talks about the differences between phytates and lectins and why plants have anti-nutrients and how these anti-nutrients affect gut health, etc. And then it moves into Nutrition 201, which is the Keto Masterclass. And we talk about insulin resistance and carbohydrate load and fasting and, and all of these things that affect metabolic disease. So Nutrition 101, leaky gut, Nutrition 201, insulin resistance. Nutrition 301 is carnivore code. And the carnivore code class talks about all of the plant toxins and all of the things in our diet that might be underlying inflammation triggers and why. And at the end of the day, when you put those three things together, it gives you the umbrella that is ancestral nutrition. And there's lots of little offshoots to that, right? There's the specific carbohydrate diet, there's the autoimmune protocol, there's primal versus paleo, there's um, carnivore versus animal-based versus uh, ketovore versus uh, lion diet, right? Like there's all these different names. Even in keto, you've got Adkins, which he was a joke, but he he popularized a ketogenic diet. He did it the wrong way. He did everything wrong. But it made people aware of a ketogenic diet versus what a real ketogenic diet is, which is a clean paleo style, low carb diet versus a therapeutic ketogenic diet, which is what most people now think keto is, is like 20 net grams of carbs, which is not best for everybody, right? It's best for people with epilepsy. It might be best for people with cancer. It's not necessarily best for everyone. And so as I was thinking about this, because I've been thinking uh, about, um, I'm actually writing a book about this. And as I've been thinking about it, I realized that there's so much bad information out there, even within ancestral nutrition groups and even within ancestral nutrition experts like um, your Ken Berries and your Paul Saladinos and your um, Rob Wolfs and, and your Mark Sissons and all of these people who've been around for a long time, many of which I personally know. I've had the distinct pleasure of working with these people and getting to know them over the last 15 years through Paleo FX and through the Ancestral Health Symposium and organizations that we belong to. And I've gotten to see the best and the worst of each of them in many ways. And I don't think that any one person has it all right. As a matter of fact, I think many of these people are very zealous about their way because they've monetized their brand. And at the end of the day, while all of these people have terrific information and great information to share, and they're not wrong per se, it is still this one size fits all blanket that people think, I, if I just plug into someone else's way, if I just do what they said to do, it's always going to work for me. And it's not. And then you have, and I've seen this for 15, 16 years when we started IPMG back way in the day, we had people who were super excited because of the results they had had, who became very dogmatic about their way. And now I'm in a lot of these other groups, right? And I see a lot of these things. I see the horrible information people are getting or, or being shut down because they want to do something slightly different or they need to adapt something or they have a family. I saw one today, you know, what happens if I'm doing this and my spouse absolutely won't? What happens if I'm, I'm feeding four kids or I'm on the road all the time or I travel for work or I'm in the military and they don't feed me very well, right? These are things we really deal with on a daily basis when we're customizing nutrition to a particular person. If you understand what your particular goal is, right? What your own health says about you, you can customize your version of that thing to you. And you don't have to be married to a dogmatic approach to any one thing. There are certain ways that will work better for very specific goals. So if we know what your goals are, that's why we ask you so many questions. 
Because if we know what your goals are, we can help you design the perfect way of eating. We can help you design the perfect supplementation. We can help you design what your lifestyle looks like, what your schedule is throughout the day, what your habits are at, from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed at night, because all of it matters. I get so many questions about hydration. I get so many questions about cholesterol. I get so many questions about diabetes. I get so many questions about paleo, keto, and carnivore. I get so many questions about what this expert says and that expert says and what this product tells me it's going to do and what that product tells me it's going to do. And so at the end of the day, what we want to do is make sure you know you have a reliable resource and someone that is a human being with a face and a voice and a smile and eyes that can see you and hear you and help you determine fact from fiction or fact from fad or what works for somebody else but isn't going to work for you because you're on XYZ medication or because you have XYZ SNP in your genetics and so you need to overcompensate for this one particular thing, right? When we take this wide umbrella approach to nutrition, people fail and they fall off the wagon. And when they fail, then they blame themselves. And very often it's not because there's something wrong with you. It's because you didn't have all the tools you needed to be successful. So people get frustrated with us because we take a lot of time and we make you fill out paperwork. And before we give you recommendations, we want to know more about you, but there's a reason why. And there's a reason why our people are more successful over the last 15 years. I've been involved in multiple organizations. I've consulted for multiple physicians. I've done on-site consultation and off-site consultation for medical practitioners and nutri um, nutritional groups in the UK, in Australia, in Canada, in the United States. It doesn't matter. And when I talk to these other professionals, I even have other professionals as clients of mine because what I realize is they're not looking at the individual. They want to put a stamp on something and make it very easy. And they want to say, okay, if you just do this, ABC, everything's going to be okay. And it doesn't always work like that. So when we developed our program and we developed our resources and we developed those courses, it was with you in mind. We wanted you to be teachable and coachable and take you along the steps to this is why this works. This is why this happens. This is how you fix that from happening. This is why something is important. It's not just have your electrolytes twice a day and you're going to be okay. It's do you drink caffeine? Do you sweat? Do you exercise? Are you an athlete? It, are there other things that are blocking absorption of magnesium or sodium from your diet that make us have to have more electrolytes? Do you have AFib or cardiovascular issues where there's a clear indication that you are lacking magnesium, potassium, or sodium or a combination of those, even if it doesn't show up in your blood work? Because remember, your blood work is a snapshot of one moment. And when we look at nutrients, it's only showing you what's in the bloodstream, not what's being absorbed cellularly. So you can't go by these diagnostics all the time that, that doctors are so reliant on and yet don't know how to interpret. They're so useless, in my opinion. Anyway, so we have to teach you the logic so that at the end of the day, you are the person solely responsible for you. It isn't me telling you what to do. It isn't your mentor telling you what to do. It isn't your physician telling you what to do. It isn't some expert online telling you what to do. You have figured out who you are and what you need. You have seen the data. You understand the biology. And now you have chosen how to do these things yourself. So what that leads to is, um, because I've been working on this concept for a book, I want to recut all of the classes. We're going to start over from scratch. We're going to update them from square one. We're going to move them off of Facebook to a separate website. Like lots of exciting stuff is going on. But what I'm looking for are people who want to take those live classes again. Um, and I haven't yet decided exactly how I'm going to do it or what it's going to cost, but I can tell you it will cost less than when we release them online. Um, but I want to bring in new information because I think there are some things as I go through the course content 
that I'd like to redo or update or uh, expand upon. And so um, we're gonna be doing that soon. So if you are interested in retaking a course that you've already taken, taking a different course than you've taken before or being involved in the live courses, please drop a comment below um, and we'll follow up with you over the course of the next couple weeks to figure that out. I can tell you right now, they are not happening this month. We are probably looking at rolling them out in October. Um, just to be completely transparent with timeline because a lot of things have to happen uh, prior to that. And I actually am doing a summit on mental health and gut health, how they're linked together in September. So I don't want to take on more than I can possibly do and then disappoint you. So I'm really looking at October for this, October of 2024. Um, but drop a comment if it interests you. And if not, I hope that the information in this video was at least very helpful to you.